Hey guys, this is Odd One Gaming. This is going to be another Raid Shadow Legends video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about something really amazing that happened on the free to play, and that's the fact that I have achieved my next goal, which was one King Hard Hydra. You heard it right. On my free to play account, that's 158 days in, I managed to one key Hard Hydra with. Let's say half of the team are free to play champions. If you've been playing for like six months and you've been doing the normal grind of getting Arbiter, doing some fusions and all that. So this is a pretty, pretty exciting one. And honestly, I'm really surprised that I managed to do this one because uh, I do believe that this is one of the hardest rotations out there because we have it start with the head of mischief, with the head of blight, head of torment and head of wrath. Like basically the four hardest one to deal with especially because maybe you've seen you know you might have seen my my previous videos and my sharp pulls you might have seen the like oh you pulled the shamel and all that i didn't even use shamel i didn't even use godseeker i did not even use ursala the mourner i basically used the same champions that i use for almost everywhere else and i just specialized them and did the right skills at the right time to do the right results so the champions that i'm talking about are like this this is the team that i used i used tomb lord arbiter Razzlevark, you know previous fusion geomancer which yes arguably geomancer is a monster he's a beast but i guess geomancer could have been replaced by somebody like an artak i suppose you know you can bring artak you do the hp bonds you don't activate the hp bonds with artak you do they want to extend them and it can do roughly the similar job geomancer yes is a bit better because he also brings you you know you can place the hp bonds through poison cloud and he brings some damage mitigation so i'm not gonna lie definitely helped then the next one is jizzle which Everybody got a free Jizzo unless you already fed him, then you know that's a problem. Otherwise, Jizzo is a free champion that I built for the purpose of Hydra. I six start him only to use him for Hydra. He's gonna go in uh faction wars in the same build, but his sole purpose and build and account was for Hydra, and that is to be the head of mischief tank and at the same time to be the provoker for head of dk it is a bit tricky against this rotation because jizzo is spirit and head of dk is magic but it you know two out of three times it's gonna work you're gonna have to maybe run the the key a few times but i'm gonna tell you this it was the same rotation last week i did it after two tries this week i like just before i started recording this i recorded the run i recorded the run and first try straight up did it and that's it i managed to do it it's just it's all about knowing what builds to have on your champions knowing what heads to target and basically bringing a good synergy of champions for your team that's how you tackle hydra so the way that i'm going to be doing this is it's going to be a little bit of a longer video okay but i will leave the whole run the whole run was like 25 minutes that it took me but i'm going to make it at two times speed okay so if you want to watch the whole thing and try and understand see what happens just click on youtube you have that bottom that's like you know 0.5 speed it might be weird on the song but apart from that you can see exactly what i did what heads i focused at the right time what debuffs and maybe that's going to give you some ideas about how to target it i'll give you a simple example making sure you have a brimstone on one of your legendary and always trying to target especially if you're manualing the head that you know is going to do some active skills such as the head of suffering because he has the most uh, active skills or maybe the head of blight before he does the poison cloud make sure you land brimstone there that's some damage that ramps up over time and it can help you a ton so i will be playing the run i'm gonna leave the whole thing then we're gonna come back look at the damage and then we're gonna go through the build so enjoy the run and see if you don't want to watch the whole thing just want to skip to the builds well see you when you come back to the build so see you in a bit
And we're back guys look at this 26 million it took me a 25 minutes because you know it's it's a manual run it's a bit tricky it's hard it's scary sometimes but still <clears throat> 26 million and as you've seen towards the end i had some bad rng well the clans the point uh, you know what's it called the poison count everything happened at the wrong time so if that would have not happened i could have gone even more to maybe like 30 30 something million which like i said you know Pretty, pretty good, pretty solid team. We have Razorwark with 5 million damage, Tomblord with 6 million, Demetha with 591. Demetha does not have Warmaster in this team, so maybe she could ramp another million with damage, but what Demetha brings to the team is the block damage for, the, for when the Head of Wrath hits sometimes too hard, or she also brings that heal and cleanse. That A2 is amazing. Healing and cleansing at the right time saved us a lot of times because I don't have a Shamel in this team in this team right now to deal with the Head of Torment. So having them start cleanse at the right times, as you saw, was perfect. Then we have obviously the God, the Beast, Geomancer with 10.8 million. That's insane. Which obviously he helped us a lot. I put him in the Relentless. You're going to see the builds. And that propped a few times, but it wasn't like every single time. So definitely Geo's a monster for this. Arbiter has done 1.6 million damage. She has War Master. And obviously Arbiter is in this team to boost our turn meter, to give us increased attack, to do the revive when we have to. So she did a pretty good job. Don't, you know, don't think that if you built your Arbiter for Arena, she might not, uh, she's not good for Hydra. If you don't have better options, bring her in and just bring somebody else that can heal her. And you're good. And then we have Jizzle, 1.5 million. So somebody that, again, brings utility, still did a good chunk of damage. So basically, my team has three DPS champions and three supports, you know. Good overall stuff, good overall stuff. Now, let's have a look at those builds. So let's start with Tomb Lord. He's, he's in the usual stuff, guys. Tomb Lord is the same build. Perception plus regeneration or regeneration plus perception with some blood shield on him because he was built for the Scarab. 193 speed, he's pretty slow, 100% crit rate, some survivability stats, this is pretty low, but it's the best I could get on him. Then he has like oh, around 300 accuracy and 360 for resist. This resist is not necessarily enough to resist the head of mischief if it attacks him, but if we have decreased accuracy, he's going to resist almost everything. So that's, that's pretty good because Geomancer brings decreased accuracy on his A1, that's AoE. I don't have it booked, but I might have to do that in the future because this could help. And I'm running him the usual masteries with Giant Slayer at the end. And obviously, this, I did not change the sniper here because it cost me gem to change. I'm not going to change it. It's fine. It works for me. Unless I'm going to try to do something else where I remove him from the from the Giant Slayer over here and move it to maybe Oppressor, then I'm not going to change it. For now, it works. It's fine. I'm not going to change it. Arbiter, again, same build that I had before, guys, with the same principle. Warmaster down here, then good uh, extra support she for the survivability, for the healing that she does. She's running in a region plus speed. Again, same thing. I've not changed her specifically for Hydra. She's running the same build that I'm using her for PvE content. Dungeons, Doom Tower, all of that. 
244 speed then survivability that's all i care about her some good you know good speed over 220 230 240 speed then survivability and a little bit of accuracy that's not enough but with Razorwag's increased accuracy that is enough and obviously the regen to keep her alive then speaking of Razorwag, honestly i just threw some pieces of gear as you can see <laughs> this is not the look at this guys this is not even ideally or perfectly tuned i have I have five pieces of Savage on my Razalvark. I did not even complete a Perception set in here, and I still managed to do it. This this just shows you the power of having the right champions combined together in a team, and voila, look at this. So Razalvark is 165 speed. I mean, he's going to get to like 265 after his passive ramps up. <laughs> no accuracy, some crit rate, some attack. So this is crazy. I really need to have a look at this and start leveling up some gear of my Razalvark. He's obviously booked because he was in my clan boss team. He's running Brimstone and then masteries i have war master on him because he uses his eight to an a3 more which is an aoe but it's single target hit so i feel like war master is better for him this this is i still cannot believe i have five pieces of savage on him i should change the last one just to have six pieces of savage right <laughs> anyway i'm joking don't do that four pieces is enough that's all the set required guys keep that in mind don't don't do a me then we have geomancer in a relentless set honestly for Geomancer, Relentless or Reflex, whichever of those two you can get are really good because you want him to come back to this A3 as often as possible. The same principle goes for any AOHP burner that you would use specifically for Hydra or like any other content where you know you want that skill to come faster. So this is where it comes good. Like as an example, if you have a, a Royal Guard that you might use to nuke in certain areas that you're capped on the 10% damage, just give him Reflex. You're going to be good with the dungeons, 21 to 25 normal and every stage on hard. If you're talking about Dark Face, same principle. You cannot do over a certain amount. So Reflex or Lentus are just better because you want them to do those damage dealing abilities as often as possible. And the stats that I'm running on him are 209 speed, 215 accuracy, and then survivability. You don't care about crit rate. He does not do damage through crit rate. All his damage comes from the HP burn and from the passive. And obviously from the Warmaster procs on the AOE A1 that he has. And these are the masters that I chose for him. Then we have Jizzo, which is built in speed plus resistance i don't even have gear max again look at how many people don't have gear max i mean maybe Ge geo not maxed razzlevark not maxed arbiter almost all maxed but still missing one two three pieces and i think tumblr is the only one that has gear maxed look at how many don't have max gear and it still works guys like i said again I'm re i might be repeating myself but it's all about getting the right syner synergy knowing what the champions do and having the right stats that you need so like i said jizo is my mischief tank that's why he's running at 422 resist 234 accuracy he's pretty slow i might like to have a little bit faster but with a third meter from arbiter and the increased speed from reservoir that's good enough then he's just survivable when it comes to mastery honestly i gave him war master because i could afford to if i could not hit the accuracy required for hard hydra which is around 420 sorry the resistance which is around 420 i would have just gotten and taken uh, taken unshakable because he's not gonna do a crazy amount of damage those war master procs help a bit but it's not the best so if you're trying to do something similar and you can see you see that you cannot hit like 250 accuracy with 420 resist grab unshakable or grab eagle eye whichever you need to boost your stats to get you there and yeah two speed two uh resistance that's it and then we have demetha demetha is basically the clan boss demetha that's about it. That's going to be a video for this week. I'm just trying to see if I can get my team to be a one key. But she's built fast and whatever was left. Because I, I could barely hit the stats. That's all. 310 speed. Barely any survivability. No damage. She barely does any damage. Don't even have full masteries on her yet. She's booked, obviously. And that's it. That, that's the team that I have. Look at this. Again, no gear maxed. So I hope you really enjoyed this because it was really fun for me to do this. And again, I was surprised that I was able to do it. I mean, in a sense that I did not expect to do this early. I know I have the right champions. I know I have the knowledge and I knew I had the synergy. I just did not expect it to do this early, like, you know, five months and a bit in to one key hard Hydra. And that's another one of my goals done. Now moving on to strictly focusing on 
the faction wars that's gonna be my next goal focusing on faction wars and getting lydia as soon as possible but anyway this is gonna be it for the video today guys i hope you enjoyed it i hope this gives you some ideas some tips of how to tackle hydra what to focus on maybe making some right team comps covering the right buffs the right debuffs in your team and hopefully this is gonna help you achieve your wonky on hard brutal or whichever it may be but yeah thank you all for watching don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel to see when i upload next and i'm gonna see you on the next one peace love take care everyone bye guys